Mr. Slackmeister fans. You know, a couple months ago, I reviewed a movie called I Love You. And now we're going to watch something called I Hate You. Let's watch. Meet Norman. He's a middle-aged stand-up comedian. There are more books written on Jack the Ripper than there are on all the United States presidents combined. Everyone remembers Jack the Ripper. You want to be remembered? You want to have permanent celebrity? Hey, whoever kills the most wins immortality. Whoever kills the most has immortality. Norman takes that to heart. So he decides to become a serial killer. He just goes around killing random strangers indiscriminately. I already have one foot in the grave. Hey, who's gonna remember a second-rate comic? Did you ever hear of Jack the Ripper? Yeah, 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 I've heard you of him. You know, Jack the Ripper only killed five people and everyone knows him. I mean, he's remembered forever. What so... I'm off to school. I'm going to writing school. So I can be remembered as the greatest serial killer of all time. Writing a book about my murders. You have to have a book. So someone can turn it into a movie. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to be remembered forever. And you're going to be remembered as my cat. Any ties for sale? I'd love to see you. Want to sure. I'm, I'm Beth. Hi, Norman. How are you? Nice to meet you. My pleasure. I'm on board. Okay. Just coming like this. Right? Yeah. There we go. Are you a board? Well, not yet. Hi. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. I was just having some No, no, go ahead. Finish your breakfast, please. You don't want to no, no, I'll, I'll wait. There's no problem. I'm a little early anyway. Go ahead. I'm hungry. All right. killer attack dogs and put them in. They all look the same. And when the guy came to feed them, they ate him alive. <laughs> Completely a random stranger on the street. Job well done. Let's go with your act. He wants you done. He canceled your show. He loses his job. What are you talking about? I, I, I was terrific. Norman, you were fucking horrible. Horrible. He saw the act, he was so offended, he went nuts. My act? Uh, big deal. Call it my act, huh? They say 50% will love you and 50% will hate you. But this guy's obviously a coward, afraid of reality. I mean, that's the way it is. My stuff is funny. Ah, fuck him. Something like this. I hate.
hate your guts, I'll crush your nuts. Till pain darkens your eyes, I'll smash your head until you're dead. And your body's covered with flies. I hate you with the darkest passion man has ever been able to fashion. Look, Charlie, I got a great idea. Look at this shit you're talking about. That shit is going nowhere. You got no fucking business being in a comedy room. No business whatsoever. Charlie, you would have hated Lady Bruce. What are you talking about? This Day, Mother's Day, Veterans Day, Memorial Day, and now Serial Killer Day. Serial killers give us a lot. Terrific movies. Magnificent books you can't put down. Norman, you're a comedian. You're not a killer. Lighten up. This is Norman lightening up. Unfortunately, while he's having fun playing ball in the courtyard, heart attack. Back to doing what he does best. He survives. Every time he kills someone, he, uh, has to bow to his invisible audience. There was a packed house. He's writing about his story. He was so full of exuberation, he had to go home and take a nap. And, and in your mind, in writing the story, do you have an idea of how many people uh, he winds up killing? I don't know. Murder is fun. Henry V, with 1,300 men, killed 46,000 people in one day, and he became a hero. Shakespeare wrote a play on him. They made movies, wrote books. I killed 11 people, and I can't even get a review. The movie ends with some puppies and a little montage of his victims. About four months ago, back in April, I reviewed a movie called I Love You. Now we are in August here and I'm reviewing something called I Hate You. I wonder how many people have seen both of those movies, let alone in the same year. Anyway, I Hate You is completely different from I Love You. It's a black and white movie and it's only like 59 minutes and 45 seconds long. It's a short film. IMDb says an hour and 17, but at least the version I got, 59 minutes. So there you go. It stars a guy named Marvin Schwartz. He plays Norman. He's a stand-up comic, probably in his mid to late 50s. And... Uh, he, he's like soul searching in his life. He doesn't know what he's there for. And he suddenly gets this idea that um, serial killing might be the way to go. Now, he's, he always says, you know, Jack the Ripper. He only killed five people, yet he's world famous. He's probably the most famous serial killer ever. Everybody knows him. Everybody remembers him. So he wants to have his own fame and to be remembered. So how best to do that? kill people, become a serial killer. So he decides that he's going to kill as many people as he can, and that's what he does. He just picks random people, hits them with rocks, stabs them with this or that or whatever. All along, he continues his act, too. And honestly, his act's not all that great. They show some other comedians, too, and some of their stuff is actually pretty funny. Um, but Norman's isn't all that great. He loses his job at the comedy club. The guy says he doesn't want him anymore because your material sucks. So he just goes killing people. And then uh, near the end of this movie, um, he's like at this writer's workshop and he's writing this story about himself, Norman, the serial killer. Now, I don't know if he was like writing it as himself or he's just writing a, a fictional story and we saw some of it played out. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. But anyway, that's our story. And the movie kind of ends with... Uh, that just happening. That's it. So, anyway, uh, that's it. It's, like I said, a very short movie. It's called I Hate You. Um, stars, uh, like I said, Marvin Schwartz and nobody else that I ever recognized. I didn't recognize the director. I didn't recognize anybody in this movie. Like I said, it's black and white. It's just an odd, odd film. Um, don't know where it came from or why it even exists, but it does. So, Anyway, you can get it from the Serial Psychos DVD. I have now uh, watched uh, five of the six in here. Blood Masters coming up next. Um, these are pretty cheap movies. Uh, I found this on eBay pretty cheaply. I'll leave a link to Amazon down below where it's a little more expensive. So check eBay first. But anyway, check it out. I hate you. Am I the only one who's ever seen this movie? I don't know. Leave some comments down below. We'll talk about it. I hate you. Watch it. Bye.